a woman who graduated from NC State will venture outside of the International Space Station, and she's making history in the process. Here's a live look from NASA right now. You can see they're getting prepared to make this replacement for that battery change. Uh, Jamise Price continues our 15 Minutes Nonstops news with more on the story about how history will be made more than 250 miles above our head. Jamise. Felicia, all of this is very exciting to just witness history now. There have been 420 spacewalks since 1965, and each one of those included a man, except for the one that's happening today here in the next hour. And taking part is NC State grad Christina Cook. Let's go now back to that live picture from NASA where Christina Cook and Jessica Mir are preparing for this five-and-a-half-hour spacewalk. Now, Cook should be wearing a spacesuit with the red stripes, and she's considered the lead astronaut in in this venture. Now, this is Jessica's first spacewalk. The two are expected to float outside the International Space Station for a five and a half hour spacewalk to replace a faulty battery charger. This will make Cook's fourth walk, and today, this is just adding to her list of accomplishments. And this all women's spacewalk was actually supposed to happen back in March, but was delayed because of an issue with the spacesuit. Now, Cook is shining light on women today, also here on NC State's campus, just really putting a spotlight on. On the university. She earned her bachelor's degree here back in 2001 in physics and electrical engineering. A year later, she got her master's degree. All of this really laying the foundation for this historic moment we are going to witness in the next hour. You can continue to watch this coverage on NASA. I think the um, actual venture will start at 7.50 in the next hour. Live in Raleigh, Jamise Price, CBS 17 News. All right.